What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to live stream Fortnite on Twitch. Now it's going to be really simple and quick to set up. All you'll need is a Twitch account, and you'll also need a program known as OBS, which I will go over in the video. So here we are on Twitch. The first thing I'm going to be showing you is how to sign up to Twitch. If you already have an account, or you already know how to, feel free to skip ahead on the video with the time shown on screen now. So the first thing you're going to do is come up to the top right where it says sign up. Simply enter a username, of course put a realistic one, I'm just putting a random one, and then also enter a strong password. The birthday I do recommend you put as real. The only reason I say this is because if your account ever gets hacked, then of course for verification purposes, it'll be easier to get back. Then of course put a real email, once again I'll just put a random one. And then the final thing, select I'm not a robot, this checked, and select sign up. Just like that you've now created a Twitch account. Now the next thing we're going to be doing is come up to the top right where our name is. Select that and select dashboard. Now do listen carefully because at this point this is where the stream information is. So put your title, for example, for the title, I've put the best Fortnite player in the world. And then of course, game and category, make sure you do select it. Then also add the communities and just update that information. From here, you're then going to come to where it says settings here and select channel. Now you can see there's something called a stream key. Now this is very important. You don't want to give this away to anyone. Now the reason I say this is because if someone has access to this stream key, they'll be able to live stream anything they want to on your channel. So bear that in mind, all you need to do is select stream key, select show stream key, select I understand, and there is the key. Now I can show you this simply because the account I made is a random account. So we're going to leave it at this tab and we're now going to install OBS. If you already have OBS installed, simply skip ahead to the time shown on screen now. So here's OBS, you select what operating system you're running on, either Windows, Mac or Linux, and then simply select download installer, download via BitTorrent, or download zip. It's completely up to you. Me personally, I just download the installer to get it out the way. So you'd select it, choose where you want to save it, just select save, and of course run through all the settings. Really simple, really quick, it'll probably take you two minutes if that to set up. Now when you open up OBS for the first time it will look similar to this. Now the reason you can see I already have things in my scene and thing in my sources here is because right now I'm also recording with OBS. So yes, OBS does record as well as live stream. I have done a lot more tutorials on OBS before so make sure to check them out in the description. So we're going to start from fresh, pretend like nothing is here. We're going to come to scenes and the first thing you're going to do is press this plus button. Now you can call this whatever you want to, I'll call this LS short for live stream and select OK. Now at this point I also recommend you open up Fortnite. So you can see Fortnite is loading, it is taking a bit longer than usual simply because I'm running two OBS's, I'm running Google Chrome and now Fortnite has also opened. Now Fortnite I'm going to drag onto my second monitor. So I've set up another camera so you can see what is also happening and here we go. So here's Fortnite and we're going to head back over to OBS. So here's OBS and the next thing where it says sources you want to select the plus button and then from here you can either select game capture or display capture. Me personally I do prefer display capture. It makes it a lot easier if you do have multiple monitors. From here you can call this whatever you would like to and then you can see it says display. So you can either pick display 1, display 0, it depends how many monitors you have connected. All I'm going to do is select display 1 because that's my second monitor. You can see it has now got a hold of Fortnite. I'm going to select OK. Now you can see the taskbar is showing, however to get rid of that just right click the taskbar, select taskbar settings, then make sure you select automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode and the one underneath it as well. From there, there is a few more settings left and that is the microphone, we need to make sure that is set up, as well as the desktop audio. Desktop audio means the game audio. So mine's currently muted, I'm going to unmute it. Nothing is currently happening on the game as you can see, hence why there's no audio, so the levels aren't going up. But for the microphone, we want to make sure we have selected the correct one. Make sure your microphone is plugged in before launching OBS. Come to the settings here, come to properties, from here where it says device, select your microphone. Desktop audio by default is always correct, so you won't need to tr uh, touch anything, but just in case, come to the settings, 
properties. Device, mine's always default and it works. Or you can just select your speakers and select OK. Now we can't live stream just yet. There's one last thing. We're going to head over to settings. We're going to head over to stream. As you can see, we're going to select the service, which is going to be Twitch and the server. You want to select the one which is closest to you or you can select auto. It's completely optional. For me, I would select London. However, I'm going to trust OBS and keep it at auto. You can see it's asking us for the stream key and this is the stream key we get from Twitch. So we're going to head back over to Twitch where that stream key is. Left click, right click and copy. Head back to OBS. We're going to right click and paste that stream key. Select apply and OK. Now I'm going to select Battle Royal just to see you can see the desktop audio is working and you will need to level it out. So of course your audio needs to uh, be louder than the desktop audio itself. Otherwise no one will be able to hear you. Now the next thing I'm going to do is actually split the screen. So I'm going to press the Windows key and the left key and I'm going to select Google Chrome here and I'm going to head over to the channel and what I'm going to do is now actually make this live stream go live. So we're currently offline. All I'm going to do is select on OBS start streaming. It's going to connect and we are now live as you can see right here. You can see we now have just gone live like that. It's going to play its ad even though we don't care about it. And there we go. We are now live. You can see we may be a bit delayed on Twitch. That's okay. It's only a couple of seconds. Now what I'm going to do to prove this does work. I'm now going to stop talking completely and I'm going to stop the recording on my end and you're just going to watch a bit of the recording from Twitch as well as the gameplay on the right. So I'll cut to the outro after I showed you a little bit of the gameplay to prove this works. But that's it for this tutorial, hopefully this has been useful for you. If you want me to make another tutorial on how to livestream Fortnite on YouTube, let me know in the comments below.